Welcome sun and sunsets. My name is Cynthia Renee Meeks and I'm a spiritual awakening guide and I assist both men and women on their spiritual journey. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. My channel is all about spirituality, okay? And videos that you can expect to see from me are about numerology, hypnosis, and metaphysics. Numbers includes the divine plan of the universe. Both men and women are assisted in their attainment of mastership with the knowledge of numerology, aka science of numbers. Each number represents a vibration. And this occult science is essential to the understanding of each reincarnated soul who is seeking to know the truth of life. Your name and date of birth is the autobiography of your life. It foretells about many experiences that you will have, opportunities, talent, your talents, and it advises you on what to do and what not to do to help, help accomplish your dreams for this lifetime, okay? And to be successful. So now, without further ado, let's get started and talk about your born gift number one. So if you were born on the first of the month, it doesn't matter what, which month, just the first of the month, congratulations, you are a born leader. So I hope you are working your ass off to reach the top of whatever level or whatever area of life you are in, okay? Whether you are in college, whether you are in high school, whether you are in your career or working at a job, it doesn't matter, you are a born leader, honey. You need to work your way up so you can assist and help people and lead them in the right direction, okay? So often, people born on the first of the month, they feel like they're a leader, right? People look at them like they're a leader. They come to them like they're a leader, but they still don't feel it. And oftentimes, it's because the way they were raised was not in the, in the leadership type of way. Most people who don't realize that their children are leaders, they become codependent. So they have to learn later in life how to be a leader. Even though people still see them as leaders, even though they are pushed into leadership somehow, because it's just automatic, because that's where they're supposed to be. If they're not sitting their lazy ass at home on the couch, okay? And they're out there in this world and trying to make it happen. Oftentimes, again, People who don't know that their child are leaders, they don't cultivate them into leadership. So it takes a little time to just nudge them in that, in that area of leadership. But just know if you are watching this and your child is a, was born on the first or you were born on the first, you are a born leader, honey. It's time to get out there and conquer the world with this energy one, okay? So if you are between the ages of zero and 100, it is never too late to stand in your power. It is never too late. I said it from zero to 100, because if you just had a baby, it is never too late to see though that um, the independence that this baby has. So you know, now that I know my child is a one, I have to make sure that they are doing everything that they can to be independent they first of all babies come here independent they born on the first you don't have to do anything but it's as a parent we have a tendency to make them codependent right no i don't want you to do that or they just they just holding their body themselves or they just crawling all by themselves and we don't want them to do it because you know we want to keep them babies as long as we can right but just know that you are doing more harm than good your child is here to lead and they will take that um the initiative at birth, I'm telling you, they come straight out of the womb and ready to be independent. You will automatically see that. Just allow them to continue with their independence and not make them codependent. And if you are an adult and you're watching this, then you know that it is time for you to step up, okay? You have it. I don't have to tell you, you feel it. You feel it in your heart that you were born leader. You feel in your heart you wanna lead something, you wanna own something, you wanna manage something then it is time for you to do that. But before you step out, okay, <laughs> and claim your, 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 your position, 
go check out my personal year videos. Find out what personal year, year you're in. Just click on one of them and then it will tell you how to calculate your personal year. Find out what personal year you're in first and then take that initiative in moving yourself where you need to be, okay? The day that you are born on is considered your God-given talent, the born gift number, right? The born gift number is just as important as your life path number. Now, what I'm about to give you about the, the born gift one, it has a lot of the similarities. Most of these things will resonate over to the life path energy of one, okay? However, um, there are certain things here in your born number that is recognized. So for instance, your born gift number is the number that is recognized when you are from zero to about 18, 21, because it's, it's the born gift, the God-given talent energy that you have before you become into, come into more life experience, before you go through adolescent, young adult, and then become this you know, adult, right? So if before you have all of this experience, you're given this, this God-given talent that right off the bat, right after you come out the womb, people notice this already about you. So you've heard when people say like, oh, he or she has a personality already. Well, that's the born gift energy, okay? And so if you are a born gift energy one, then just think about it, when you were younger, you may was that type of had that type of uh, personality, a very strong willed, right? Very determined, uh, very creative, uh, very um, um, strong opinions, uh, rapid thinking. Like you could think very, very fast. Um, and as a number one, you also are a person who can. They like to create, very creative, right? You like to create the plan and then um, allow yourself to delegate the responsibilities of the plan to other people. And that's what a leader does, right? They create the, the vision and then they have the experts come in and, you know, complete the vision. So think about that as a one, as a, a born person born on the first of the month. And your body, your, your soul, your, your vibrational song is made up of five, five core energies. Okay, the born gift number, the life path number, the expression destiny number, your heart's desire, and your personality energy. Now, if you, uh, again, the, the born gift number is the first one recognized, the first really strong energy recognized when you between 0, 18, 21, okay? Um, also, I want to tell you that the things like the strong will, right, the, the determination, um, the uh, a lot of the, the opinions, uh, creativity, all of that is the positive side of the one energy. Now, everything that is positive ah, have also have a negative side to it, okay? So, um, when you think about that one and you being this person who, who was a leader and very strong willed and, and um, creative and, and take the initiative on everything, then what would you think that the flip side of that would be? Okay, so the end up and also positive is very independent. So the flip side or the negative side of a one energy is someone who is very negative minded, very codependent, right? Uh, someone that is very lazy. If, you, if you're the type of person who is becoming very lazy, then more than likely you are operating on your negative side of one because one energy are not lazy. They have a lot of determination, a lot of willpower, and they want to get up and make it happen, okay? They are not the ones who wanna be laying on the couch. So if you are born on the first and you're laying on the couch, you can't find nothing to do, can't find a job, you are just operating on your, your negative side. You need to flip it over and look at everything from an optimistic point of view, okay? So think about it. Again, being um, procrastinating, too bossy, too egotistic. Those are negative signs of a one. And so if you have any of those signs, manipulation, using your using your power for, for evil, not good, okay? So just think about those things. And, and if anything that resonates with you, just, you, you know, just change it. You are one energy. You can do whatever you want to do, honey, because you are here to lead. And that's what you chose to be as you entered into this reincarnated soul, okay? Number one is the number of action. 
So, uh, and understand that the divine plan makes no mistakes. So if you're one of the ones who can't find a job, just can't get it right, think about starting your own business. Number ones are meant to be here to lead, to be in business for themselves, to own their own stuff, to manage, you know, whatever it takes for you to step into that leadership and, and, and be able to help others. They already are leaning on you, okay? If you're working at a job and you're not in management, there people still come to you already for advice. So why not just move up the ladder and get to where you want it? This is not where you want to be, then start your own business. Just do it. I'm giving you permission. If you need permission, confirmation, whatever, just listen to me, listen to this video, and know that this is your confirmation to make it happen for yourself. You have everything that you need. You are a planner. You turn you you knock doors down, right? You create these wonderful plans. You are very resilient. You 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 can you are very uh reliant self-reliant you you have everything that you need even if no one ever told you this growing up even if no one ever cultivated you into being a leader even if no one ever saw you in your family dynamics or in your environment as being a leader it doesn't matter i don't care if you're in prison okay i don't care if you don't have an education it does not matter because what matter is you were born as a leader this is already in you and it doesn't take a college education it doesn't it, even if you are already at the bottom you can still hold your head up and look up and go straight to the top so just know this, okay? Know this, understand this. If you want to be a writer, go write your book. If you want to start your own business, start your own business, right? If you want to start your, whatever it is you want to do, just do it. The universe will be there for you. When was the last time that you asked the universe for something? That's the problem. We sit here and we don't think, we want to ask God for favor, for favor. That's old school. Remove that out of your head. No more asking for favor because God is not a favor type of God. He is everlasting, okay? So just put your request into the universe what you want and believe it with everything that you have and don't go tell anyone else about it. You believe with your soul and then you start making baby steps to that position until the universe can open up the, you know, open up the, uh, I don't know, the, the gates and just pour everything down to you, okay? Just make it happen. You are a one energy. You can do this. I don't care what's going on in your life. COVID has nothing to do with this. This is the time for you to come and have your opportunities. Again, go check out my personal your video so you will know what year you're in and what things can move for you, okay? Let's make it happen, my one energy. If you have any comments, Please send me um, some. Please comment below if you have anything that you want to ask me about being on number one. Whatever it is, I'm here for you. Send me an email, info at cynthiarenemix.com, or you can drop your comment below. But just make sure you're not sitting on the other side of this video and you are wondering what should I do. Don't get stuck in what should I do. Don't get stuck in I don't have. Don't get stuck in she just don't know what she's talking about because that ain't me look at me look at all these kids i have that that does not matter you were born a leader you were born for this life you was born to do some great things so don't look at your situation and just go do it okay my name is cynthia renee meeks and i'm a spiritual awakening guide and i am here to assist both men and women in their spiritual journey and help them to define their life path okay so if you're not a subscriber to my channel please think about that because I need all the support I can get and and uh, subscribe if it moves you to if you are a subscriber thank you so much for following me and supporting me I love you and I love all of you guys okay um, I am here for you if you have any numerology questions please please drop them if you would like to have a numerology reading go to my website cynthiarenemeeks.com and understand how the numerology readings work what all is included what you would get for the money that you pay for it and book that appointment today numerology reports will help you i do an hour report i always go over an hour but the numerology uh, analysis will help you understand who you are the core of who you are okay the, un the understand understand the talents understand your gifts understand 
um, the opportunities that are there for you. Understand why this things have had to happen to you. All of that is in your path. Just get the understanding. So if you're sitting over there, you want to know more about who you are, why you're here, book that appointment today and I can assist you in this analysis, okay? In you define it, your life path. Again, my name is Cynthia Renee Meeks and I always leave with love, live, and forgive. Namaste. Bye-bye.